Hello, I am Dr. Aruna Saman and in this video we are going to discuss plant root and water in the soil. Plants obtain variety of substances like light, water, mineral nutrients and gaseous substances like carbon dioxide and oxygen from its surrounding. But the productivity in plants is mainly affected by non-availability of water. Water is considered as elixir of life. It constitutes almost 90 to 95 percent of most plant cells and plant tissues. Water helps the cells to maintain turgidity and shape. Let us understand properties of water. It is essential raw material for photosynthesis. It is the best aqueous medium for all biochemical reactions occurring in the cells. Water is liquid, remains in liquid state at room temperature and due to this it is the best solvent for most of the solutes. It is inert inorganic compound with neutral pH when in pure form. Because of this it is the best transporting medium for dissolved minerals and food molecules. Water has high specific heat, high heat of vaporization and high heat of fusion and because of this it acts as thermal buffer. Water molecules have high surface tension and good adhesive and cohesive forces of attraction and this is due to hydrogen bonds between the water molecules. Because of this it can easily rise in the capillaries. Water is therefore a significant molecule that connects physical world with the biological processes. The plant root. Root is the main organ of water and mineral absorption for plants. The epiphytic plants are those which have green leaves. They are autotrophic but they grow on the branches of bigger trees. They have special types of roots, epiphytic roots. These epiphytic plants, for example orchids, they absorb water vapor from air. Water is absorbed from air with the help of these epiphytic roots. The epiphytic roots have special tissues called velamen. If we take cross section of this epiphytic root, we can see on the outer surface there are present cells in many layers which are hygroscopic. They have great attraction for water molecules and these are velamen tissues. In terrestrial plants, the roots typically show four regions. The region towards the apex or free end is meristematic region or growing tip region covered by root cap. Behind that there is zone of elongation followed by root hair zone and then at the base there is maturation zone. The root hair zone is also called zone of absorption. Here the epidermal cells which are called epiblema cells form unicellular hair like extensions called root hair. The root hair increase the surface area manifold and that facilitates the absorption of water. So structure of root hair is very important. Let us understand the structure of root hair. As we said earlier root hair these are cytoplasmic extensions of the epidermal cells of root. They are called epiblema cells. Each root hair may be approximately 1 to 10 millimeter long and it is tube like structure. It is colorless, unbranched and is ephemeral or short lived and is very delicate. It has large central vacuole surrounded by thin film of cytoplasm. Its cytoplasm contains nucleus and many mitochondria. The cytoplasm is surrounded by inner plasma membrane and outer cell wall. 
the plasma membrane is selectively permeable it allows the passage of only certain substances across it whereas the cell wall outer cell wall is freely permeable the cell wall is thin and it is two layered the outer layer is composed of pectin and inner layer is made up of cellulose forms of water in the micro environment of soil surrounding the root this micro environment is called rhizosphere and we are going to understand the different forms of water available in this rhizosphere the gravitational water this water percolates the soil under the force of gravitation it goes deep down and it is not available for absorption the hygroscopic water is tightly held around the soil particles and it is imbibed water and again not available for absorption the combined water is the water undergoing chemical reactions with the different elements present in the soil such as aluminium silicon and such combined water is also not available for absorption whereas the water is present between the soil particles by the force of capillarity and this water is the only form of water available for absorption by the roots once again let us revise the four forms of water present in the rhizosphere rhizosphere is the soil around the root gravitational water which percolates deep due to the gravity in the soil hygroscopic water the soil particles they adsorb this water and tightly hold this water combined water is present in the form of hydrated oxides the chemical reactions they have undergone with silicon and aluminium whereas capillary water is present in between the soil particles and it is held by capillarity now which water is available and which is not available to roots for absorption gravitational water not available hygroscopic water not available combined water is also not available for absorption so only water available is capillary water with this we have come to the end of the discussion on plant root and water in the soil thank you